We start tonight with that breaking news happening in Statesville. A large fire ripping through an old warehouse. Channel 9 learned five tons of pesticide are buried beneath these floors. And Channel 9 allowed us, Chopper 9 rather, allowed us to get up close to see how firefighters handled the dangerous conditions as part of that roof caved in. Tonight we have anchor Allison Lottis there for us on the ground. And Allison, your sources say that this fire was intentionally set. Erica and Scott, this building has been abandoned for years and it didn't even have power, but buried underneath, as you mentioned, are dangerous chemicals. Five tons of pesticides. Firefighters tell me they aren't sure how all of this started today, but they do know one thing. Someone set this building on fire. From Chopper Night Sky Zoo, you can see 50 firefighters rush to contain and stop this abandoned FCX warehouse from burning to the ground. Albert Edgerton was eating breakfast nearby and hurried over to West Front Street. And I was kind of, you know, afraid, hoping there wasn't nobody in there, you know, because something like it happens, you never know if it's accidental or whatever. No accident. Firefighters tell me this was arson. We got reports of a possibly folks fleeing from the scene, but we have uh, yet to identify them. <laughs> The mattresses, particle board, vinyl siding, and cabinets stored inside created an especially hot fire. The roof of the building is metal, much weaker under extreme heat, and too dangerous for firefighters to climb on. One section even collapsed. But what worries residents, like Lillian Jones, even more is this is a Superfund site. Underneath this warehouse, five tons of pesticides are buried. Do you ever think about those chemicals being around where you live? Um, yeah, they actually did con uh, ground contamination testing on our property. The most recent review from the North Carolina Department of Environment Quality stated the remedies at the FCX Statesville site currently protect human health and the environment. We asked Battalion Chief Smith about any concerns of fumes or exposure after this fire. He told me he thinks the area is still safe. We don't have any worries about the about the actual uh, ground. All the fire was was contained above the concrete. And firefighters tell me tonight they have contacted several different state agencies, including the North Carolina Department of Environment Quality, to let them know about this fire here today. Erica, Allison, do we have a timeline, or do we know when environmental officials will review that Statesville site and test the area? Just about a half an hour ago, I spoke to someone at the DEQ over the phone. They tell me that they actually monitor this location quarterly. They are scheduled to do a surface water check in May and then a groundwater check in July. That is unless any of the wells were damaged today. Erica. All right, Allison, thank you. Now, we also dug deeper into Superfund sites. And here's what we found. Take a look. According to the EPA, there are 13 Superfund sites in our area, including that site in Statesville. There's a couple of them in Charlotte, some in Gaston County, and one in Concord. 